the kingdom of God is among you. Um, we who pray, who go to church, receive the sacraments, who try to obey the commandments of God, try to live the gospel of Jesus Christ, we feel the kingdom of God upon us and we, we, are, we consider ourselves members of the kingdom. We're kind of soldiers for the kingdom. We're active. And, but imagine if you didn't pray. Imagine if you didn't know the gospel, didn't, uh, weren't guided by the commandments. You would be just, there'd be no kingdom. There'd be no spiritual kingdom. There'd be just the kingdom of this earth. And the Pharisees are asking Jesus where, when the kingdom of God would come. Yeah, they think it's a political kingdom. It's a, there's soldiers and an army and a physical government. Jesus is saying the kingdom of God I'm talking about is in your heart and in your spirit and your, uh, in your mind. You're living the, 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 uh, the gospel of Jesus, all spiritual. And yet God created the physical world. He governs the physical world. He governs even politics, even governments and countries. He governs them. You know, sometimes we can watch, watch politics and see how th interesting things are going on and I wonder what's going to happen next and I, I hope this person does this or says that and things change and, you know, and we, we think that, uh, you know, pol political things, political figures are the ones that uh, govern the world, but it's really, it's really through prayer. It's the power of prayer, the power of God that, that can change events, change political situations, change things. And we're really, it's really up to us to, 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 to pray and, you know, of course, do our own physical thing. If we're going to become politicians or uh, get active in political work, we can do that. And those things can be somewhat important, but farther, much further more important is the is the the life of prayer and, and uh, living out of commandments and the kingdom of God is very much a, 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 an obedience obeying obeying uh, obeying the commandments obeying God obeying what our duties are obeying what the will of God is on a on a day to day basis and when we do live this spiritual life we see ourselves being controlled controlled by god and this is what we want we're controlled by him by our lady by the spirit of grace um as saint therese says you know i in, in my spirit of prayer and love for god uh god's working in me in ways that i, I can tangibly feel even though i don't see him or hear him and he inspires me and directs me in in ways that i can experience and she says it happens more often while i'm doing my duties rather than um during prayer time during my active prayer time so we uh we who live our faith, the more and more we live it and obey the commandments of God and live in the Spirit, the more we are governed by the kingdom of God and we want that to pervade the world and we pray that it does.